to exploring the inner realm, we have to understand that the faculties that we have afforded to us can only be successful in terms of knowledge that has to do with direct experience. Mm. For instance, no amount of meditation is going to be able to tell you what's the weight of an electron or what's the strength of the gravity compared to the other forces of electricity, magnetism. So we know that gravity is the weakest force mm -hmm. among the four forces. Electricity, magnetism, strong force, weak force, I think those are the four. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Why can't... And if that was possible in some of the Buddhist or the Hindu sutras, we should see striking mathematical and scientific discoveries. All of that is completely absent. In fact, in the sutras, we don't even have a mere mention of there being life on other planets, which is now such a scientific possibility. It's almost absurd to believe that, no, there were the only form of life here. So that shows you the limits of meditation, actually. Hmm. Let each the strength and weaknesses of each area of exploration be put where they belong. Scientific knowledge will give you, will give you access to one kind of knowledge. Mm -hmm. Meditation and exploring the inner realm will give you access to another kind of knowledge, direct perception of the inner reality. Um, and obviously, the flaw of science is that it's not intimate. You're not, your perception is not transformed by it. I mean, as a, your intellectual perception can change, of course. You can be very deeply inspired by science. But your level of self-knowledge has not changed. Okay. The most intimate knowledge is the knowledge of that which is seen. That transcends the dualism. So because science is by nature dualistic, when it comes to the knowledge of the non-dual, it's paralyzed. And that's where now you need another vehicle, meditation. Okay. So uh, I try not to exaggerate too much about What's meditation capable of? Yeah, it awakens all these cities. You can have a cult of mystical powers, but at the end, you don't even know how to. What's the weight of an atom? It's a pretty good perspective. Puts it into perspective. Like to, you need to put it in the right context. If you were to do nothing else but sit and meditate, and without opening up the body, without dissecting it, no surgery. Mm -hmm. If all you did was sit and meditate. You wouldn't even know that you have a brain. Yeah, I think there's like, like, like science has like shown us things that are like beautiful too, and which are not available through yeah. other means. Exactly. And meditation will also offer you some realization and knowledge, which is also not available through other means. Mm -hmm. But let them please. Complimentary. For no God's sake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let them be put where they belong. Yes, you're right.